Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. I am currently in Beauclair because today I would like to spend some time in the city and maybe finish a few things like the fist fighting for example. Or I have a quest over here that I haven't checked out yet so I'm going to do this today. Um, I have made a quick stop over at Corvo Bianco before starting the recording because I wanted to pick up some runes from my stash for my new armor pieces. So they are all equipped with runes now. And by the way, if you've been wondering about the enchantment on my new armor, um, since the Manticore armor is uh, actually a medium armor and not a light armor, um, I enchanted it with a levity, so it is now a light armor, which means I can keep the cat school bonuses because um, I really like them and I wanted to continue to use them. So I use the levity enchantment. Of course, it means that I can't use, you know, the other enchantment that I had before, the one that um, damaged some of your attackers with a certain percentage. But I think I'm I'm going to be fine without it. And I am currently using um, Arandite again, which I probably should repair again. Yeah, the steel sword could use a little bit of repair as well. So um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to use um, Arandite for now. I still have the Manticore Silver Sword just in case. But yeah, um, since we're here, why not go and check out that new quest? And this over here looks like um, it's Geralt. So what is this all about? Brothers and sisters, let it be known that the witcher Geralt of Rivia has thrown off the prejudice of his guilt and shown true respect for the laws of nature. He understands the importance of the ecosystematic ecosystemical balance of preserving endangered species. Therefore let us not remain in his debt. I call upon each member of our society to reduce his prices for the Witcher as much as possible. Sol solidarity with nature. <laughs> well, that is an interesting uh, consequence of uh, me sparing the basilisk, I um, assume. <laughs> okay, well apparently the hobbelists like me now. Anyway, um, I know there's a quest very close by over here, so let's check that out. Do you know the colors so, I see what colors? do you want? It's a painter. Red, white, and Snow White! Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair! The scar! Ah, the frown! It's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? <laughs> or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, <laughs> so manly. Okay. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. <laughs> An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Okay, you want Geralt to pose for you for painting? Well, um, sure, why not? I mean, you certainly had crappier jobs than that. So, why not? <laughs> Don't see why not, long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the western gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Okay, well, um, yes, I can't do that. A portrait of the witch as an old man. Okay, uh, 
meet the painted nice around tune. noon by the western gate of the palace. Um, oh, it's way over here. Okay, sure. I'm, I'm just going to use the next fast travel spot for that. Which I think um, is over here. Yes. Okay, let's go and pose for painting. I'm supposed to meet that guy at noon, so I'm a little bit early. Which means I'm just going to meditate for a few hours. There we go. Ah, I see. Stole my brother's sling. I'm here. Let us go. Uh, we should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. What's the chiaroscuro? I don't know, but I guess I will find out. Let's go. The things I do <laughs> for art. We had best ride there. But we'll arrive faster and less fatigued. Okay. And work of well, my turtle dove over here. here. Hanks in the ducal palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. Yeah, <laughs> I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? <laughs> To paint with, of course. Um. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. <laughs> Got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that. He merely copies <laughs> the works of his betters. And poorly at that. Your cat? <laughs> yes. Pierre Auguste Moustachoua. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second-rate hack. And a thief. We'll continue on foot. Well, actually, I, I would like to hear more about your painting cat now. That sounds very fascinating. Anyway, where are we supposed to go? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward. But have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my <laughs> paints. I'm done for, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Well, um, I guess I have to if we want to uh, have that painting, right? Because I assume you can't use different paints. Wouldn't happen to have another set with you? And uh, nothing you could use instead? My word! Would you really have me scrawl with charcoal like <laughs> an animal? What's with you and painting animals? Cats don't paint and animals usually don't paint either. Not with paint and not with charcoal. But okay, I'm going to look around. Ah, uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything. Set it out. Ordered and organized. Hmm. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine, I'll take a look around. <laughs> Uh, Garrett is already highly exasperated. Okay, life let's look around. Us. And not vice versa. Right you are, Fingo. Take Baron de Cordel for one. Oh yes, that nose. He actually had a mage enlarge it after he saw that the <laughs> Reb Courage play. And now he's begun courting his cousin. Well, you have not seen the paint. Consider yourself greeted. Anyway, let's continue to look. Oh, 
I think I found something. Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. Okay, so can I follow the smell? Yes, I can. Footprints. Smudged. Hmm. Footprints. Clear, but curiously small. So maybe it's a child? Footprints. Smudged. Okay, apparently this is just what I already know. Anyway, let's follow the trail here. Got paint drops here too. Okay, okay, so I'm on the right track. Another stain. Could very well be a lead. <laughs> you think so, Geralt? I think it's a lead as well. Um, I hear some wolves, but pretty sure they have not stolen the paint. Unless uh, wolves like to paint as well. Who knows? Got paint drops here too. Okay, I see. The, it's in the cave, right? Alright. Let's grab a torch and have a look inside. Another stain. Could very well be a lead. <laughs> got paint drops here too. Um, I think we got a few neckers down there. Okay. Neckers? Look like they made off with the paint. Why? Well, I don't know. Maybe they like art. And they do paint their faces, it seems. And they wear like helmets made out of horn and stuff at times, right? So let's pick up the loot and I think I already see... Oh! Hmm, cave paintings. This here looks a bit like a necker. Big blobs, oh. what? A troll? Neckers depicting their victory over some trolls? That even possible? <laughs> necker propaganda? Well, apparently it is, so... Apparently neckers do possess, you know, um, more intelligence than I gave them credit for. This is kind of like, I don't know, Stone Age level humans? That is interesting. Is there any more? Necker art? None that I can see. Alright, in that case, uh, Empty container. Painter can't use this. Let's just pick up the paint. I hope this is still intact. Yes! Paints. Don't look ruined. Painter should still be able to use them. Alright. So we can return to the painter. And he can start his um, masterpiece or whatever. So, is this shorter to go this way? May actually be. Okay, let's go this way. There we go. I found your paint. Found your things. Splendid! Where were they? And, hmm, is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. <laughs> Impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. Okay, well, um, after you.
Oh, are we going to take our horses? All right. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tails. <laughs> mm, better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tails. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting <laughs> witcher. Yeah, that's actually not that common. I mean, Garrett doesn't really joke around that much. And you rarely hear him laugh like that. So, how far do we have to go for this anyway? Ah. This the place? Yes! Just look at the view! Breathtaking! The perfect background for our masterpiece. Mm, pretty, I guess. <laughs> Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. <laughs> it is a pretty view. I'll give you that. Very pretty. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? Um, well, do I have, yes, I have different choices. On horseback heroic reclining. Now, I think I want a heroic pose, of course. Maybe I could just stand, <laughs> sword in hand. Ah, splendid! A heroic pose, of course! The bold warrior, his sword held aloft, ready to run at the, well, that willow over there. I will paint in a griffin later. Shall I begin? Or would you prefer to adopt another pose? Um, well, the, that pose doesn't look bad, but can I, can I maybe try the other poses? Let me try something else. Just to see how they look like. Okay, let's have a look at the horseback pose. How about I be on horseback? I mean, Roach kind of deserves to be immortalized too. Oh yes, a horse! Exceptional idea! But I would rather you perch atop Alexander, my mount. I've trained him to pose. Okay. I shall paint in the carcass of a slain griffin later. Now, raise your head to exude pride. Thrust your breast forward. Go on, breast forward. <laughs> I want to see those hocks extended. Ahem. Is the horse paying attention? May I, I know. begin? It's your or horse. Or would you rather try a different pose? Um, well, this isn't bad either, I suppose. Let me try the third pose as well. Let me try something else. So, how does the reclining pose look like? Think I'll lie down. At least that way I can nap while you work. <laughs> the hero at rest, lying on his side, propped up on an elbow, staring into the distance, relishing a victory. I can paint in a griffin corpse later. Though, naturally, a nap is out of the question. We resolved that earlier. May I begin? Or would you prefer to strike a more dynamic pose? <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, this pose looks kind of odd, to be honest. I think I actually prefer the heroic pose. I mean, if I can't have roach in the picture anyway, I may as well go for the heroic pose. Let me try something else.
Yeah, let's go with heroic. Maybe I could just stand, sword in hand. Ah, splendid! A heroic pose, of course! The bold warrior, his sword held aloft, ready to run at the... Well, that willow over there. I will paint in a griffin later. Shall I begin? Or would you prefer to adopt another pose? Um, nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Go for it. <sighs> Go ahead. Now, be so kind as to adopt that look you gave me when I first asked you to work with me. That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. <laughs> now, hold that. Do not budge. Okay, this could actually be a nice painting. I hope I hope I get to keep it afterwards because I still need paintings for my um, estate. Uh, this gonna take much longer. Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please keep your head still in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. <laughs> Griffin. Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. <laughs> Gods! A griffin! Well, um... I suppose I should take care of that, huh? And hide! Dearest mommy! Well, at least you have some, uh... real... griffin to paint for your painting and you don't have to imagine it. Okay, let's... deal with that griffin. I haven't fought those in a long while. But my improved art should work nicely on it. I think the last one I fought was one that was like level 48. And I was, I don't know, 30? <laughs> okay, there we go. Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing <laughs> scared me to death. Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Hmm. Yeah, sure. I mean, now that we have it, why not include it in the painting? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm. Interesting color palette. And the textures and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, <laughs> too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And right. I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Ah, for posterity. That's obviously the most important thing. <laughs> okay, wait one day to see your painting. Huh, I obviously... Uh, want to see that painting so oh is this going to be another trophy apparently it is so i guess i will just go back to beauclair and meditate for a day and um then i would like to see how it looks like but yeah this is actually a pretty pretty amazing view now we have a moonrise over there and a sunset over there very scenic. Um, where exactly am I? 
Oh, it's actually uh, quite quite some distance. Okay, let me go back to Beauclair. Um, it's over here apparently. So maybe I'm going to use the fast travel point here. And then I want to see my painting. All right, we're back at the uh, painter's shop, but I'm supposed to wait for a day. Um, he said tomorrow after midday, so I don't know if this is long enough. We'll find out, I hope. I would hate to come off as impertinent, but was it not you? Um, well, the Westmark is here, but I don't see him. So maybe I'm just going to meditate for another day. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is interesting. I don't remember wearing Rings. so little Geralt, armor. There you are. So, our <laughs> painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do tell. <laughs> It is um, an interesting rendition, but um, I do kind of like it. It's nice. Shows a lot of uh, <laughs> imagination. <laughs> Don't recall undressing before posing, though. Some of the other details are a bit off, too. Well, the imagination is an artist's mm -hmm. chief tool. Heard the same from a certain poet. He embellishes and invents chiefly. Well, you have an interesting imagination. That's Perhaps for you'd sure. care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it. I will, at a special price. Okay. Well, that's actually uh, fairly expensive as prices go, but I definitely want to have that painting, so I'm going to buy it. Why not? It'll make an interesting memento, though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. <laughs> Indeed, few have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I sometimes go hungry as a consequence. Mm. <laughs> All right. At least this way I'll be able to control who sees it. That's a good Thanks. point too. Portrait of Geralt. Well, um, as it happens, I still have the other painting, this one, the white wolf, and I have the Reginald figurine, which apparently I can put up on my estate as well. So um, I think I want to go back to Corvo Bianco and I want to um, place those paintings. Uh, let me go to the next fast travel spot. One, two. And we're going to decorate our home a little bit. Long live Duquesa Anna Henrietta. So let's go back home. And see what we can do with all the stuff that we have gathered. There we go, and we have two empty spots right over here, so this is going to be a great place to hang them. <laughs> there we go. Ah, beautiful. And another painting of Carol right next to it. I'm totally not self-absorbed with all the paintings in my in my home. <laughs> Wonderful. Also, um, I still have um, the cat gear that I'm obviously not longer, not wearing any longer. So why don't we take this and put it on, on put it on one of my armor stands? Um, 
This is a griffin gear. This is the wolf gear. And, and I mean, I suppose I can just remove this stuff. And instead, I'll put the cat gear on it. After all, I have been wearing this for quite some time. There we go. I like it. And while we're here, why not sleep in a bed for a change? Let's meditate a few hours so it's um, day again. There we go. And right, I still have um, the Reginald figurine. And I don't... Do I want to have this trophy? I mean, I don't really need the bonus gold. I'm just uh, carrying this trophy because it looks kind of funny. But I may actually want to use a different trophy. I don't really need more gold, do I? Um, bonus experience... Bonus gold... Additional herbs... I don't know. I don't really need any of them. I mean the bonus experience is nice, but it is a very small bonus anyway. And yes, um... I may actually want to dye some stuff now that I have collected a bunch of this. I can actually craft a few dyes already because I found the diagrams. It would be cool if I could put up the thank you card in my home. Can I can I do this? I still have empty spots on my wall. No, the thank you card cannot go up on the wall, which is a pity. So you can go back into storage and yeah, I don't know, I guess I'm just going to put this in storage too. But yeah, um, I have been told I can use the Reginald statue um, next to my wine cellar. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yes, this works. There we go. <laughs> and now I have my own Reginald. And, oh yeah, I still need to go back to the um, real Reginald statue now that I have uh, returned the um, stones. And apparently I can touch them for some bonus. So I'm going to do this at some point too. But yeah, um, I have decorated my house a little bit. So, um, while we're doing all this uh, trivial stuff, um, why not experiment a little bit with some dyes? I mean, I do like red and black color schemes. Ooh! It actually uh, dyes the whole arm, including the shirt. Although, I mean, um, when I was wearing the cat gear, I dyed it black, but it really only dyed part of the shoulders. I don't know how this looks like um, in the in real animation, but okay. This is actually not that bad either. I don't know if I want to go for the really flashy colors. Maybe just black. This isn't bad at all. Um, I think I would like to have uh, black trousers though. Can I? Yeah, I think this looks much better. I'm going to do this definitely. And while we're at it, let's just dye the boots as well. There we go. I think this looks much better. I'm not sure if I really want to change the um, chest piece though. I mean, what are my options here? Um, I mean this isn't 
entirely bad either. How about red? Hmm. This isn't bad, but it looks a little bit like a mounty, don't you think? I think I'm just going to keep the uh, chest piece as it is. I mean, it would be nice if I could paint the shirt and, uh, I don't know, the chest piece in different colors. Like, I don't know, maybe leave the shirt white and paint the chest piece red or whatever. But apparently you can only paint the whole thing. Like pink, for example. Apparently pink is one of the most common dyes because I found a lot of it. Oh, this actually has different colors. That's interesting. Hmm. And it doesn't really look uh, that flashy, even though it's pink. It's not really that bad. Although it kind of looks different in, you know, daylight. At least for the cat gear. Oh, well, look at this. Again, the shirt and the chest piece have a different color this way. Hmm. That's interesting. But I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. And let's have a look. Yeah, I think, I think this is pretty good. It's just a minor difference, but it looks better than before. Anyway, I think um, I'm just I'm just going to um, call it an episode here. We didn't really get much stuff done, but we have a great painting, and we have slightly modified Geralt's outfit. Um, I guess in the next episode I will return to Beauclair because I haven't really explored anything. I will finish the fist fighting and I will check out uh, the place for example. I'm pretty sure I have not been to the inns yet. Um, I believe I have visited the armorer and there are a few shops that I haven't seen either and I may just uh, stumble upon more quests or whatever. So yeah, let's make a cut here and tomorrow we will um, go back to Beauclair and see what we can find. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.